Hi, this is Paul. I want to make a video about Phase 4 for the, MC, for the MCU going forward. Uh, specifically, not, well not MCU specifically, but the MCU, the Avengers, specifically their lineup going forward. Okay, now this video is going to have spoilers in it, so if you haven't seen Infinity War, I guess, you know, don't uh, tune out. But for those who are still here, okay, um, what I'm saying is the lineup, there's a lot of speculation about, you know, Who's gonna be still around after Avengers 4 comes out next, you know, next year? You know, will the original three, Captain America, you know, well, actually the original Avengers, not, not just the three, but the big three, you know, Thor, uh, Captain America, and Iron Man, will you know, will they leave? And then I, th I say the original six uh, may leave. I, you know, not that I want them to leave or anything else, but uh, I wouldn't mind if, actually, in all actuality, you know, them to rotate a few members out, like maybe. Uh, Take uh, Scarlet Witch, take her, not Scarlet Witch, excuse me, Black Widow out, and she make maybe give her her solo movie, and she can always guest star in a, in a cat uh, solo movie or an Iron Man movie or whatever. But just, you know, move her, maybe phase her out, and uh, also maybe the Hulk, because the Hulk can always team up until they get the rights back. They can always, the Hulk can always guest star in, in one of the solo movies or, or, you know, so that's not a big issue with that. And Hawkeye, of course, Jeremy Renner, I don't think he's long for this universe anyway. I don't think he, you know, so, so those three you could, and just bring in three new members with the original three. But again, I think what more likely is going to happen is the big three are not going to be in the Avengers uh, movie, at least not full time. They may make cameos and stuff going forward after Avengers 4. And of course, that depends, of course, if any one of them dies. I know a lot of people are speculating that maybe Cap is going to make a sacrifice or whatever. They're going to do something. Maybe the original three goes. We're going to make some kind of sacrifice to bring all the other heroes back. Okay, maybe, you know, so that may happen or not, but I would rather not happen, but it may happen. But going forward, this is what the lineup I would want for the Avengers going forward in the, I guess, the fifth movie, I guess. Uh, I would like, uh, of course, I would like, of course, Black Panther to be there in there. Of course, I could think he could be one of the potential leaders. Of course, he's a king, of course, so he's used to commanding and leading people, so he could be the he could be the, uh, the the new leader of the team, so to speak, and he has the the whole you know Wakandan arm you know uh, funds. So he could actually fund the team, okay, if he wanted to do that. Of course, then you have uh, I I think the next uh, person would be, although Doctor Strange, I think he was a defender <laughs> uh, originally in the comics, but I don't know if he was ever an Avenger. Maybe he was in one of the comics I haven't read, but you can always bring. I think he would be a great asset to the team. Bring Doctor Strange in there. Okay, uh, again, a great power set. If you've seen Avengers Infinity War, he was absolutely fantastic. He's one of the MVPs to me in Infinity War, Doctor Strange. So I would love to imagine a team with T'Challa and Doctor Strange. I think that would be an awesome team. Okay, and then, of course, the next person I would say, and this is merely speculation, is going to be, I guess, Captain Marvel. Now, we haven't seen her in action yet, but her movie's coming out, I think, in March of next year. So we will see and. I think she's supposed to be the one, one of the most powerful Avengers, okay, and I think she's going to be the key to stopping Thanos. So, I would love to have her. Of course, and then you get you know you get an additional female, even if you, if you take Black Widow out, you replace her with another powerful female, okay, or probably the strongest, one of the strongest females. Ever. So that's three members there, right there, and she could potentially be a leader of the Avengers as well, okay. So you have three potential people that could be leaders of the, of the team, you know, with Captain Marvel. Uh, Doctor Strange and T'Challa. Okay, so that's three. Now the next person I would say, Spider-Man. Okay, Tom Holland <laughs> is absolutely fantastic. And if you saw his 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 death scene in uh, Infinity War, you know he can do the emotion as well, and he he would be great. And remember, Tony Stark made him officially Avenger. So I think he would be great. He could bring he's, he brings the youth and he and the wise cracks, uh, which every team needs, and the smart the smart attic. Alecky thing, so I would think he would be great. So that'd be a fourth member. Okay, and now I'm gonna bring back. I'm gonna bring two other members in here, which I think would be great. First, you bring Scarlet Witch back, which who I think I love what Elizabeth Olsen did in the last movie. I thought she was absolutely fantastic in the in the last movie, and she's a powerful, really extremely powerful member of the Avengers. And if you want to make the team even stronger. Bring Scarlet Witch back because I think the only tip in the iceberg, and the, the plus you get the bonus of you can have Doctor Strange being the one to teach her how to use her powers properly. Okay, which I think would be a great 
visual thing to, to see Doctor Strange training Scarlet Witch how to use her powers. So I think that would be I would think that would be awesome. Okay, and of course if you have Scarlet Witch, you have to bring back the Vision. Okay, I think you, you, you kind of have to. And I know he died literally twice <laughs> in Infinity War, but I think bringing him back would be absolutely fantastic. Okay, and you could even try to do the Simon and Williams things. You could bring him back, and he's a robot. You know, he's more. You know, he's more. He's not as emotional as he was in the last two movies. You can bring him back. You know, once once they resurrect him, which I think he's gonna get resurrected. I think he will. I think Sherry, probably in the last movie, she she had enough time where she saved this thing, and and he'll come back, but he'll be a cold, like an emotional, uh, like a robot. <laughs> okay, and then they can do the whole. The power of you know the uh, Simon Williams thing where they uh, t uh, you know his brain patterns that's what they with Simon Williams power you know Power Man right that was Power Man they took his brain waves and, and gave him the vision so he could be so he could be he could be more human I guess right no to make him more human yeah that's what, I think that's what they well I know they took Simon Williams brain uh, patterns and they you know because he was in a coma and they gave him to Vision and, they, and then you can always later down the line bring back Power Man, exactly, if you want to do that. But anyway, so that's six members. I think this Avengers team, I think, is super, super powerful. I think you got T'Challa, you got Doctor Strange, Captain Marvel, uh, Spider Man, and uh, who did I just say? <laughs> Which I can't remember. Uh, uh, Scarlet Witch and Vision. Okay? That's a really extremely powerful team. Now, I know people were, uh, and you got. And you got two women on the team, right? Captain, you know, Captain Marvel, and Scarlet Witch. Uh, now, now that's six, that's six members. Now, I was debating whether to bring these other two people in, and you can, if you bring these other two people, then it's eight members, which I think is a little, I think it's a little much. But you can always have them cameo in this. I don't necessarily think they have to be full-time Avengers, but Ant-Man and the Wasp, okay? I just think uh, I love uh, Paul Rudd and I love Evangeline and Lily. So I could see you, you bringing them. Not you don't have to be full time members. They can, you could just bring them in to help. You know, which you know, although with a powerful team like you got those six that I was talking about, I don't know if you really necessarily need them. But that's always a bonus. Okay, and then again, you can always bring if the Fed's big enough. You can always bring one of the main three, the big three, back just for a cameo appearance, like Thor, or Iron Man, or Cap. Okay, if they don't kill them off. Okay, so that's what would be my lineup. That would be my six. I saw Grace Randolph from Beyond the Trailer. She did her list. Okay, and uh, I'll leave a link to her uh, list if you want to check out her video. Okay, and see who, who the, the ones that she picked. Uh, I just disagreed with her because she did not include Black Panther, I think, in her group. Okay, and she included Ant Man and the Wasp. And although I like those characters, I'm looking forward to that movie. I don't think they necessarily have to be Avengers, although they could be. I, I just think that the team of T'Challa, Doctor Strange, uh, Captain Marvel, uh, Vision, Scarlet Witch, and Spider Man would be an awesome six. That would be a great six. And you have the, again, you, you have the, the power, Doctor Strange, Captain Marvel, uh, Scarlet Witch, Vision, okay? Okay. Those four right there, it's in Spider Man. But I mean, Spider Man, it, it, I think T'Challa out of all of those would probably be the. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think out of all of them, maybe T'Challa would be, be the one with the, with the weakest power set. But he, you know, he's he's smart, intelligent, and his suit is absolutely fantastic. And again, my group, that's who I would. Uh, that would be my six for the Avengers going forward. I would definitely go see a movie with with the those six in it. Okay, and you know, like I said, you can also uh, bring in the others if you want to. I just don't, I just don't think uh, I want Man and the Wasp in it as full-time Avengers. Okay, I, I could gladly so go see their solo movies, uh, the movies with them together, or have a cameo in the Avengers movie, or a cameo in, a, in somebody else's movie, but I definitely want those six to be my Avengers going forward if they take out the big three or or retire the original six, which I think it's going to do because the original six plus Rhodey is still alive after Infinity War. So I think those seven or maybe those six maybe Rhodey won't be 
in with the group, but I think he will because he's there. <laughs> and you know, it'll be down to those six again, like the first movie, and then their their arc will be over, and then they'll move on. Hopefully, you know, they don't have to kill them off. I don't keep waiting, especially Grace Randolph. She she really wants Cap to die for some reason, just like she really wants uh, this the scroll invasion thing, the secret wars with the with the scrolls. But I'm not all about that. I want <laughs> Cap to 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 go off and be happy. Let him go, uh, you know, find love somewhere else. Uh, you know, I, I know people want to see heroic sacrifices, but I love uh, Chris Evans as Captain America. I don't want to see him die, okay? That's just my personal thing. I don't want to see him die, okay? But anyway, okay, that's what uh, my big six for the Avengers going forward. I guess the Avengers 5 going forward. Uh, let me know what you think. What What is your six? I, I, the reason I say six is because uh, I think that's a more manageable group of six. I think six is a good uh, good number. Of you know, I think as once you go to seven and eight, and then that's you know you're getting you know, the numbers are getting to. I think six is a good number, but you got two women in there. You got two really powerful women in there: Captain Marvel and Scarlet Witch. Plus you have Doctor Strange in there. He can train Wanda, which is great, I think. And you got Vision. You got powerhouses: Captain Marvel, Vision, Doctor Strange, uh, Scarlet Witch, Spider-Man, and T'Challa. I think that's that's a, a really great team. It's diverse. You got women, you got men, you got black men, you got two women. I think it's perfect. You got young youth, youth, you got experience, you got a king. Come on, what else do you need? Anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, feel free to leave comments down below. I'll leave a link to my uh, main channel, Trey Passer, in the description box. Also, links to my social media, my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram, so you can check that out as well. And let me know again what your favorite, what your six would be, and I guess in Avengers 5. In the Avengers 5, you know, fifth movie going forward in phase four. Okay? And this is true. Well, not Trey Pass on this channel. This is Paul saying so long and take care.